Here we have a vintage Martins, I think is how it's pronounced, stereo cassette deck, model SD155, continuous play, like A to B, playback only, playback record, got your buttons here, auto tape selector, normal CRO2, you got metal for both A and B, recording levels, LED display, dubbing standard or high speed, Dolby noise reduction on or off, microphones left or right, headphones, record, pause, dubbing, high speed, tape counter, everything works. Right now it's showing metal because there's nothing in here. As soon as you put a regular tape in it will say normal. United States Postal Smashers did a decent job on this. You can see a little bump here. I flattened it out. It was a lot bigger than this. And it came out probably it's a couple fingernail thicknesses up. So I had to bend that back into shape. One of the knobs popped off. Couldn't find it in the box. It wasn't like that on, on the pictures. So the post office smashed it. The box looked like they dropped a piano on it. And they found a piece of metal that didn't come from the company. But it does play, it does record. I have tested it out. I'll show you the back of it. Got the cables here. Inputs out. Do your stereo over input to record. Options for a remote. Information on it. 60 Hertz, 27 watts, 120 volts. Soft eject. Sticker coming off there. But it does work. So let me put a tape in it and I'll demonstrate it. Tape is in. Listen to the sound it makes when I hit play. Slight delay and you get click click. And it engages. So we'll come back when it actually get does something. And that's all you get because of Susan. You can see how the levels peak here. So hi fi. See, it's because they're playing in deck B. Here it says normal. This is a modern cassette tape, a re release of the out of their debut album or demo album inside A just says metal because there's no tape in it but everything works recording does too so I have recorded with it you adjust these for your recording level obviously you don't want to go all the way to the red so you want to keep it somewhere in the middle when recording these don't affect the output volume the headphone jack just outputs at a constant volume, so you kind of want something that has like an adjustable volume headphone, like gaming headsets. And then you want something with an inline volume control if you can use headphones. But everything survived. The mo dual motor, you know, it's not like one motor controls both decks. They work independently of each other. I've opened this thing up just to get rid of this dent. Because it was bowed out, it was literally popping out. That's how badly it got damaged. But I managed to bend it back, so the post office did a good job smashing it. But it survived. Both decks do work. So, really not much to say. So I can't play too much because, you know, Susan doesn't like music of, of any kind. But, that's really it. Way not much to say. Nice fancy deck. Alright, here's the inside of it. Nice and clean. Nice and neat. That side in action. Here's the other side. 
it's a dual motor each side operates independently like your cheap boom boxes to make today one motor controls all the decks this was professionally restored and it works I recorded with it you can handle two hour cassette tapes no problem an hour per side you know which is these here been ages since I recorded onto a blank cassette Each side holds an hour. I've had no problems with them. This side didn't like to rewind them though. This one had no problem rewinding. But that's the internals of it. Not much to see. Nice and neatly laid out. Easy access. So that'll pretty much do it on this deck. One last audio. avoid copyright audio strikes but if you're curious what I do with it this is what's playing iced earth enter the realm program repeats on both sides so set your power button what else to say about it it's vintage and it works